Oh, hi everyone. This is Doug. I'm live from Historic Thomas Square, <coughs> where where um, sovereignty was restored to the Hawaiian people on July 31st, 1843, and has been the site of the encampment of Occupy Honolulu for 277 days. Uh, this is the third raid in three days. You're going to cover this side, I'll cover this side. I'll cover this side. We have a uh, live streamer, Eye Zombies, on the uh, other side, so we like to uh, try and make sure we got everything covered. I'm also taking uh, still photographs here. Let me show you. Uh, gathering of uh, trucks here. I knew they were coming when they were, uh, they had raided yesterday around this time, so tagged a bunch of stuff and uh, I'm going to back up so I can get a picture of this. The question is, are they going to attempt artificial, I mean an illegal seizure? Somebody's trying to talk to me while I'm both doing still and live streaming. Doug. Yes. You need to get a shot of this plant seal. This is the dangerous plant seal. I did. I have. Yes. You got that plant seal in there? Yep. Definitely do. We can see uh, now. If you uh, check our footage uh, from yesterday, you will see that they tagged a bunch of red tents. Those tents have been taken. Uh, onto private property and rotated out with tents that were on private property. Today's raid being led by Trish Morikawa, center screen. She's coordinator of the Office of Housing. And Ken, uh, Ken Shimi is the deputy director of the Department of Facilities Maintenance. Kind of, uh, these uh, rates usually run by West China. There might be West behind it, but it might be Alan Sato, I can't tell. Now, they, ha they legally can't take these tents uh, because they were on private property and just rotated out, most of them just a few hours ago from private property onto public property. Uh, but... And you know, inconveniencing the traffic is not a very nice thing either. These people are all paying for have, gas. Uh, they have to pay for that gas and sit there right. and burn that gas with hydrocarbons. That ain't cool. Of course, they blocked off the lane. Here's the truck uh, with the crane on it, with the garbage bins on it, are the ones that they generally put tents in uh, for storage, for reclamation that no one really has been able to reclaim with too much of success. Although I've, I've gotten a few tents back. Um, we suspect the illegal seizure of property because uh, there is a... Um, mayoral election coming up and the current incumbent 
Peter Carlyle is lagging uh, in the polls. So, uh, so I think they like this kind of big action. There was a um, press event, a media event seizure attempt yesterday uh, where they were unable to legally seize anything and uh, spent quite a bit of time here uh, without being able to take anything. They're moving trucks in here. We've got uh, two, two trucks. What's Prisha's game? Uh, one game uh, dump truck, one uh, crane with the storage bins on it. And you'll see uh, what's going on here. We'll see some certifications by there's a police talking to uh, Trish. The guy in the Aloha shirt, by the way, is police. Well, we call Aloha police. Because, uh, so here's Trish. We're going to talk to you guys first, and then we're going to go talk to those guys. So we have evidence that the items are not leaving the premises, so we're going to store everything. And so the that's that's illegal. Store. What if we have evidence that it? They're going to do an illegal seizure. So how's your sleep last night, Trish? You're taking a. You just How took are you a tent. Sleep tonight. You're this is there, private property. Will. We'd like. The, the office of dehousing is doing its job. Housing people, you like Taking, doing uh, they just took that tent uh, from uh, that cart. How much money do you make doing that? She makes eighty thousand dollars a year. You make eighty thousand dollars a year doing this, huh, The uh, red. Tent. We, we have the, the encampment has divided things into red tents and blue tents. Yesterday was red tent day. Those tents were broken down and taken away. Um, I don't know why it's considered stored when it was on a uh, portable cart. That was one red tent. Now we ha there are at least a dozen red and bark tents, so proving uh, one This is uh, what we call freedom furniture. Uh, it has a ephemeral existence. Hey, that's a piece of protest work covered by First Amendment. I can see them uh, taking uh, uh, I don't know if you can tell, I'm going to back up a ways so you can see the uh, extent of the area that's crime taped. <laughs> we have it's one, not above two, and it's not. Why are you doing it? This is about the 35th uh, raid. None of the 35 raids has uh, been able to keep the Deoccupy Honolulu encampment, has been able to disrupt it by even uh, a day. They're going to take the tents. You can't invent an idea! 
they're going to do now is take the uh, illegally seize the tents that mere hours ago were put up were taken off from private property. They're really under the gun uh, because uh, Mayor Carlisle is lagging in the polls. He's a former prosecutor and um, runs on a very uh, kind of a uh, law and order kind of platform yet has been unable to uh, keep a bunch of campers off this corner for even one day in the last 277. The uh, leader of the raid, Trish, who's center screen, was a deputy prosecutor under um, Mayor Carla when he was prosecutor. She now has a very odd uh, title of coordinator of the Office of Housing, uh, which is responsible for actually taking away the housing uh, of the houseless people. Uh, center screen now is uh, Kenneth Shimizu, Deputy Director of the uh, Office of uh, Department of Facilities Maintenance. Uh, the, uh, that's a cabinet position under, uh, usually West Chen is here, I believe he's off-island, he's uh, the uh, director. Ken uh, Shimizu is the Deputy Director, also a cabinet position. So very important to the mayor. Um, so they are going to seize illegally. They, uh, let me point out that the seizure they're doing is illegal. It's illegal because nothing was tagged. aren't tagged, they were just put up hours ago, previously not stored on public property, but... Uh, not just what democracy looks like, not what democracy looks like. Absolutely. This is, is not a uh, uh, houseless encampment, plan. this is a uh, political uh, encampment that... Uh, has been problematical for politicians because the central position is to keep uh, the influence of money and corporations out of government and of course that's what the current political system depends on. They, what they've done in the past is uh, targeted uh, signs, banners, artwork. She's got to be so this isn't woman. the first uh, illegal seizure of. Uh, really, how do you want to seize your Trisha, one cold blooded, honey. That is damn cold blooded what you do. She doesn't care. The opposite of uh, housing Honolulu. I'm zooming in on this police because on their arm patches, on their badges, is the uh, splintered paddle sign, the Kanavai Mamalahoi. The law of the splintered paddle uh, guaranteed the safety of people that lie by the side of the road. It's uh, enshrined in the Constitution of the State. I'm moving so I can help document uh, what's going on here. We're kept away by this crime tape partly in order to uh, keep us from uh, documenting. Yeah. 
Doug? Yes, Do you yes. have a way of getting a hold of Damien, letting him know what's going on real quick? Um, he should know. Somebody's got to group me. I got my hands full. I'm live streaming. Uh, I got, I don't know. A, a oh, okay. I'll see what you're saying. We did. He, it, all the group meetings have raid on. There's been chatter, so if he's on group me. That's interesting here. There's Wes. There's Wes Chun. There's Wes. That's the uh, director of uh, facilities maintenance. So we have the director and the deputy director of facilities maintenance here. West makes uh, $112,000 a year. We are allowed to be here! Trish makes 80000 Ken must make around 100000 That's two hundred eight, almost $300,000 in terms of yearly salary. Cabinet positions, appointees right here of the uh, mayor. If you just joined us, we're at Thomas Square. There's an illegal seizure of tents that were just put up, from taken from private property, not stored, not tagged, but uh, uh, because of the mayoral elections that are looming, in which uh, the incumbent Peter Carlisle is lagging in polls, there's a lot of pressure uh, for him to appear to be doing something and uh, this encampment has been here every single day for the last 277 and that's kind of upsetting he thinks his poll numbers yesterday there was a press event uh, where the press showed up uh, they were not able to take anything because uh, the red tents that were there yesterday were uh, just put up. The law they're using is 11 Ordinance 11 029, which requires that items be stored on uh, public property. Of the uh, of the uh, patches, which show the Kanavai uh, Mamalahoi, and these are police. These uh, guys in the Aloha shirts are what we call Aloha police. So that onlookers don't see a field of uh, uniforms, see uh, signs and expressive uh, material being taken. Hey guys, thanks for tearing up my home. I hope you have fun. None of this, of course, tag. You know, you know, you can treat that stuff a little bit nicer. It's a high quality shit. Don't fuck with it. Some of this is artwork. I'm a collector of uh, Stanigawa. And I don't see any yet, but they better be stored. How do you like my house? This encampment, uh, Solidarity with the Occupy Wall Street movement, and in fact, is the longest running continuous encampment in the Occupy movement worldwide at 277 days. 
I am standing behind a crime tape. This is an illegal uh, seizure uh, because uh, none of this stuff was tagged. Injustice alert! Injustice alert! There is an injustice going on in Honolulu. See the uh, back of bulldozer in the background. It's actually a familiar sight. The first time the bulldozer showed up was February 2nd, which was raid number two according to my counting, and this is raid number 30, 34, 35. You cannot take our voice. can't be done up traffic in Honolulu. That is going into the storage bin so we can reclaim this stuff. It seems, but what they're requiring is uh, credit card, credit card receipts. Did you find out what the VIN numbers are on that? The VIN number? Because I need the tax to get the VIN number. I think I got photos. I know exactly. Hey, do you want the VIN number? No, don't give me that. This is being done under uh, Ordinance 11-029, uh, which criminalized homelessness and public protest. Getting a I'm taking stills here too. We should go up at uh, Flickr. I'm flickr.com slash user uh, photos. I'm sorry. Flickr.com slash photos slash H Doug. I'm user H Doug. This is gonna look familiar because I have a lot of sets of the raids. This isn't the first illegal raid. Um, that is West Chun uh, center screen. I wanna try and get Hey, Trisha, I want those VIN numbers, Trisha. We'll Hello? Yes, Trisha. I want those VIN numbers. Just, you can read the VIN number. I think we got it on, uh, it's on the other side. Taking a sign so the there is the, of course they're not taking the signs that say plant sale. Plant sale signs are allowed. Anything uh, with political content of course is not. They're taking uh, okay, that's been sixty six. Uh, the people, uh, the There's actual homeless the people, this guy have uh, very little recourse. This is a political encampment, and it will be rebuilt in, in minutes. Uh, I should be able to say whatever I want, wherever I want. Quite right. This is obviously pressure from uh, Mayor Carlisle. 
who even as a wannabe law and order guy and former prosecutor hasn't been able to ke keep uh, the destruction of property as it goes in. So there's a call out for uh, tents and that kind of material. Freedom furniture. Hey, do you own chairs, your truck? Do you desk. own your house? Do you own anything? And the point, of course, is that in, if you don't have a private residence, you don't have a right to private property. Those without private residences must live in public. We have created homelessness. Where did you learn your ethics at, anyway? Are you you? That's West Chun we're following. Wesley Chun is the director of facilities management. This is all protest material. Cabinet position. Taking First Amendment protections That's away. how we know it's. That's uh, how we know it's uh, a Mayor Carlisle kind of thing. They're taking signs. I know you hear me. You won't look at me because you're ashamed, but you hear me. You are not doing. They're taking signs. Now we got another live stream on the other side. That would be uh, Ustream user The Pineapple Glitch and Ustream user iZombies. want to put it into the stereo mode and get both sides of the uh, action. You can see uh, what happened what happened to the uh, freaking bullhorn? We can rebuild her son. I want the man bring a tent. Let me uh, back up. So you get an idea. This is the uh, First Amendment table. That's good. That's a great sign. You are not doing this out of love. Why are you doing it? We're standing outside in this taped off area. What happened to the damn bullhorns? So how come we, we don't have any damn bullhorns? Good question. Uh, the bullhorn people, who are they? You know, I, I donated a bullhorn. I can do two cameras and a bullhorn well, if they want to give me yeah, a damn you have bullhorn. to watch out whose hands are going to be around here sometimes. Okay. So you ask yourself, we have the equipment, we are not using it. Why? Are you sabotaging this effort? I don't know. Some people do. So I, I always ask I the think it's, I I'm, think it is. I'm curious. Okay. I'm, I think it's a certain amount of slackness. Yeah. Oh, this is great with the plant sale sign yeah, in the I background. Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. The dangerous plant sale has occurred. Look, look what happens when, when you have a plant sale. They took my home. Now you can see uh, two trucks right here. One is uh, has bins in it. They put tents in there. They took my home, Ma. They took my home. What you're doing is wrong. Not to mention this is clearly wrong to do this to homeless people. Uh, to political protesters. Rearing fucking children. We are not going anywhere. This is completely against the law, what they're doing. 
This is a law being broken by people who are supposed to be enforcing the law. This is happening here! This is happening all over the world! As I was saying, there are two trucks, one uh, bins where they apparently, supposedly store. Apparently, Mayor Carlisle got his bulldozer day. Yeah, and that's not the first time the bulldozer. He got, remember he was talking about the bulldozer? He sure thing? was. He's going to bulldoze all the rats. We are the rats, and Mayor Carlisle is the bulldozer. Are you proud of what you're doing? He's here in some yeah. What memories you want to have on your deathbed? The um, crew here. Do you like your children to aspire to do this? Four, I see four police on this side, two in uniform, two Aloha police. And what's the crew? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. At least a dozen um, crew, half a dozen, four management maybe. Well, that's interesting. This is not Aloha! They're taking everything, totally illegal seizure, tagged and untagged stuff. The tents were not tagged. The tents were not tagged. Even though some go in bins, they're destroyed when they go into the bins, one. And two, uh, they're impossible to reclaim, you almost. You choice. need uh, receipts. now by the uh, trash truck is actually what I was trying to say is that there's one bin truck for stuff that they store and behind that is a dump truck for they declare certain things trash and they don't have to tag it and it goes directly to the landfill you can see um, they've got the area taped off Got a couple of people here, most of the people on the How other many side. Could you be with the money you were spending on this? That's a really good question. The expense to taxpayers. How much food could you grow in this park that you're destroying? And what is the benefit that what is the benefit to the suppression of uh, protest? Sorry, I'm shaking a little bit, eh? Working two cameras, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to try and make it up. being done by mayoral mandate, I'm sure, cabinet uh, ministers here, and political appointees, Trish Morikawa, coordinator of the um, Office of Housing, Office of Housing, which is supposed to house people, instead takes away people's housing. They may be moving, okay, they're moving to the Victoria Street corner. I'm going to try and follow them there. The Victoria Street corner is the uh, homeless uh, area. So I'm going to walk past here. You can see the trucks. They came yesterday and didn't take anything. They've taken some stuff here. Okay, I'm going to walk over to the Victoria Street side and see uh, police uh, vehicles in the park.
They're inventorying stuff, which is a search under uh, the law. This is the uh, beginning of what we call South Occupy, which is like the semi-affiliated and non-affiliated, uh, non-politically organized area of the um, park. While I'm here, I'm going to shoot over here. That's a former, this whole thing is a former Anna Rice Cook estate. Anna Rice Cook was married to, into the uh, Cook family of Castle and Cook, which were one of the first land barons, first five, big five land barons, resulting from the theft of uh, Hawaiian land. And uh, very ironically, now the uh, Honolulu Museum of Art Yeah. How does this help homelessness? This is the solution. Did you come to work today to steal your homeless people? These people are stealing from the homeless. We got director and deputy director of facilities maintenance stealing from the homeless. This is so actually, this corner is this side that really gets to me. You know? I'm gonna get the. Uh, oops, sorry. Excuse me. Bumped into somebody. Here's the. Dozer. Uh, part of uh, South Occupy. They're gonna. Take beds, clothes. Yeah, how do you show ownership? Some people are not all that dispirited. I like that uh, the shirt, which is uh, from the APEC. It says, "Welcome APEC, welcome Pilau." That's a good one. And a, a built 54 tag on the helmet. Original. Original one. All right. No, this is uh, Lucas has been here from November 5th. Okay, here's the problem. They're taking uh, medication. They're taking prescribed medication. So. Uh, prescription medication disease, clothing, uh, everything you need to live. It's required for the act of living, as it's called. So, from the people that have the least, they take. The people that are doing the taking are directed by the people that own them, their owners. So this doesn't do anything for the homeless, it takes their stuff, uh, who are now 
This person has nothing. He just lost his home. This guy. He's on the street with nothing. No shelter, no bed, no clothes, no medication. You can see uh, toiletries, soap, and that sort of thing. Homeless people can be very uh, well organized. They're under orders from the mayor. It's oh, a mayor this is thing. Disgusting. It really is. This is fucking disgusting. You are bidding somebody's medication. Are you going to allow them to put a man's life in jeopardy by taking medication? Come on! Come on! You have to let him take his medication. Here's, here's, here's the owner. Take his medication. There's more in there, man. They took other bottles and threw it in there. There's more in there. There's two envelopes that they threw medication bottles in. He's got a cat hanging on to. Pretty cool. This is who they're stealing from. This guy can take take care of a cat. This guy has got a cat hanging on to him, man. That's so cool. Boy, I hope these guys are proud of themselves. Getting uh, messages of support. This is the uh, This is the uh, response to houselessness. Oh, here's a Mercedes going, lady in the Mercedes going past thanking us. Classic, right out of the movie. Blonde lady in a Mercedes thanks the authorities for uh, well, some, some people are selling grain in the system. Well, at least the Yeah, I think that's one less. Okay, we're behind the uh, tape here. We're looking toward Board Avenue from mid block by the stairs. Uh, at uh, Deoccupy Honolulu, it's named Deoccupy. In solidarity both with the Occupy Wall Street movement and with um, people in occupied lands worldwide and, and indigenous people. Join us, we're at uh, Warden Baratania, the Oxford Honolulu, where police have conducted a 
illegal seizure of untagged items, items that were just brought here some of them hours ago. They're grabbing the uh, First Amendment cable. They're taking uh, signs from the other side. I'm going to check that out. We've been able to keep a small table with uh, pamphlets and signs, but they seem to be seizing that too. Uh, if you're watching and uh, you are in Honolulu and a supporter, we'll need more freedom furniture, that is uh, chairs and whatnot, a desk, they took the First Amendment table. We're not even going to ask for funding, you know, we're going to ask for people to come down. If you have a tent, <laughs> you can get those red Embark tents at uh, Target, $37. We're passing the trucks here. We're back on the uh, other side of the... Uh, they, where they took the um, First Amendment table. Did they take the First Amendment table? Yeah. yeah they, they, they're, they're violating everything today. They're going all wild. They took the... Uh, you can't take that table. It was never tagged. It was never tagged. It was never tagged, that table. The place right in the street. That table was not tagged. The table wasn't tagged. And it... That was our new uh, First Amendment table they'd taken the previous one uh, before. Part of the uh, Stanigawa um, industrial complex, and this is the new uh, Stanigawa. And I'm taking a photograph of it um, for history's sake. I'm also a collector of uh, Stanigawa. I think this is a new one. I have uh, an earlier. Stanigawa. Well, we have to think of tourists. We do have to think of tourists, I guess, more than um, residents, you know. And tourists are more important than uh, free speech. We do 
So if you just joined us, the conclusion, what looks like conclusion of a uh, of the, um, illegal seizure property, untagged property, new property, uh, against uh, not a subject to Ordinance 11-029. Not the first time this has been done. I bet it will be having you in a court of law. Basically, the theft of everything. Of course, some stuff is has been rotated out in private property, so I'm anticipating that to come back soon. But. If you are a viewer, if you uh, want to help, there's a need for tents. The red tents were from the Embark, two-person Embarks from uh, Target, $37. They fit within the uh, dimensional restrictions of... Uh, and this is a management car here. I'm going to get a picture of the management car. That's the management. This is the management team. And uh, they're going to report back to the mayor. They're very happy about this whole thing. Oh, you're so sweet! They're happy. They're happy about it. Police uh, who assisted in theft of property and also uh, breaking the uh, law of the splinter tattle. That's kind of interesting. No bullhorn work today. I'm going to find out about that. So we can see the. Uh, this is the bin truck, and this is where the, um, this is where the, uh, tents and whatnot, after they're kind of destroyed, are, end up in these bins. Officially go to storage, but the recovery rate, of course, is very low. Over on this side, I'm now walking to what we call South Occupy. This is the dump truck. And it has in it stuff that goes directly to trash, leaking detergent. Certain things trash. You see a moped and scooter in the back of the, that one. A bicycle and that sort of thing. So I'm gonna. Uh, Can you go home tonight? Ask yourself if you did this out of love. I've asked you plenty of times. Seriously, and the you thing is, it it's yourself. Admit it yourself that you saw us remove the items. Hey, Bobby. So they're leaving the park. So I guess the um, I guess they'll go past Honolulu Hale so that the uh, mayor can have a party for a few hours. And I guess the plans to uh, rebuild will go back in place. That rate took almost an hour. I'm 55 minutes in. What you just witnessed is the illegal seizure of the encampment of Deoccupy Honolulu. 
I say illegal because none of the stuff was subject, well, most of the stuff was not subject to seizure under Ordinance 11-029 because uh, it was not stored on public property for 24 hours. It was stuff actually that was just put up uh, hours ago, not tagged. Uh, they've done this before, so, you know, what can I say? What I plan to do now is uh, mount some of these, uh, the photos and the, try and edit down the um, footage, and then come back later on to document the rebuilding of the encampment. It's now in day 277. It's a continuous encampment, never skipped one single day. Um, so I'm assuming things will go back up. We do need uh, tents and whatnot down here. Freedom furniture, things like chairs, desks. They took the uh, First Amendment table. that was not tagged, it was fairly new because uh, they took the previous one uh, they left some signs, they left the Stanigawa I believe I kind of keep my eye on it I think what I'll do is I'll walk up to the Stanigawa and then um, sign out from there back when the encampment first started November 5th, people were sitting right here um, and were arrested at 10 p.m. because the police claimed that this area was part of the park. The original encampment that sprang up after that was on this corner which is, uh, had a large uh, communal tents and that sort of thing. The Stanigawa, a new work, uh, survives. And uh, I'm going to sign off from here. Thanks for joining us. I think next time you see I start broadcasting will be the rebuilding process. Talk to you later. Thanks for joining us.